Hey, it's Joe Gleisman, Adam and Eric. And earlier today, we were on a call with the whole team, Isaiah and Irfan in particular, we're working through it. And Isaiah said, hey, Irfan, let me show you this thing in VS Code, because I think it'll really help you. And I said, is this something really cool? And Isaiah was like, absolutely. So he was absolutely right, by the way. So check out th this amazing thing that you can do to make it easier for yourself or others you share your code with to use the IntelliSense to pop up with parameters to your functions. I think this is really a great example of how VS Code is like the Ferrari of IDEs. It's not even an editor, it's an IDE. Uh, we have a great intro to VS Code course. If you're interested in learning, it's not only tied to auto hockey, but in our example, we, we do focus on it some. Um, I'll put a discount code up here. If you're interested, you can get, uh, let's say 20% off and hope you enjoy the video. Like the video, it really helps us out if you learn something. Uh, thank you, cheers. Right, so right here, I'm gonna work with any function. It doesn't matter which function it is. Now, in this case, in this function, there's one parameter that you can choose from a different set of um, algorithms or whatever, it doesn't matter. You have to choose an option, but I don't know what the options are because there are so many. So then I'm forced to go to the function, look at the parameter, and then, look at how he got the parameter so I can go to that other function to see which options I have. You see all that? Like, mm. I have to be doing that every single time so I can choose one, right? So what you can do is you copy this, however you want to copy it, one by one or however. And in the parameter, you go to your function here and you create a comment. You just open a comment, put another um, asterisk and hit enter. That with the V2 extension creates all the parameters one by one. Oh, right? very cool. It, it does it automatically. It copies all your parameters, puts them there one by one, tells you which types they are, if it could figure it out. But this one is the cool trick. If you put in parentheses in, in, in the brackets there, the list that you got, right? And you use a pipe, and make them strings like this, okay? If you okay. convert that into this list, what is gonna happen is, you will see in a second what's gonna happen, that now when you're using the function and you hit that, they show up as parameters here. Oh. So now I can just use that and use my video here in this case, whatever. So this is something that VS code and the extension for v2 allow for any function. You can create your own functions, and then you define your parameters, and you tell which options you want to add. Even the even the um, the original ones. So let's say, for example, message box. All right. So you know that the message box command is um, what oh, message box, right? This is one that you can add some things in the options, right? So I could have a test, title, and now I have options. Well, I can read the options in the tooltip, but what if I wanted to give me the options? I cannot see the options. Well, you can select the built-in function. You hit F12. Yeah, yeah, F12, yeah. I, 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 went to right. this, I went to this list already. Right. So, so now you, it takes you to the original definition file, and now you can do what I just told you. In the options, you can create the little thing with the options that you want, right? All of them, if you want, whatever you want. And you just put the pipes and the quotation marks. And now those are going to be treated as we, things we that will... Yeah. The, the, does that make sense? So basically, it is very cool that now I have them. You see? And I can just, uh, oh, hold on. I can hit control space again to add other things. So I, I will take a little time, a few minutes from now, and just add all the options that I could put in all of those options. I will put them in there. And now my message box is going to suggest that. Does that make sense? So That's it is a cool, cool thing. It is kind of like an advanced thing. And you can do that with your own function. So for example, for process here, if I have parameters, file one, file two, I just 
open this and put two stars. Like you have to open the the comment, put the second star, and then hit enter, and it automatically reads your things. And you can tell what they are, whether it's an object that takes an object, and this one takes an array. And the point is that whenever you're calling that function, now it tells you that the file one is an object and the second one is, and when I do the second one, it tells me that it's an array. You see that? Oh. It's really great for customizing your function, making them not only useful for yourself, it's just like you don't have to go to the code to figure out what you can put anywhere. In my case, I just spent like five minutes trying to figure out which which can I use. Now I just hit control <laughs> space, and now I know which ones I can use. I mean, but also, Isaiah, because that's built into your script now, right? So man, if you share good. this, yeah. yeah, when you share this with other people, if they're using VS Code with that extension, it'll auto populate right. for them as it will well. Auto populate right? as well. So it is something that now people who do not know how to use my um, my uh, function now know how to use it, right? I don't have to go track it down, see what's in there, read all the things about it. It's right there in front of you. Right. Very cool. That's so cool. So we, we have an intro to VS Code course, which I'll put the link up here. And don't forget, there's a double your money back guarantee if you have any reason why you're not satisfied. But VS, this is one of the things why we say VS Code is the Ferrari of doing stuff. <laughs> In programming, yes. it's truly an IDE, not just an editor. And this is a great example of what the value you get and how much faster you can work if you set it up properly. All right, right. cheers. Right.